good morning or good evening, wherever you're at. I am sitting down to start my migration of information from 2023 into my 2024 um, new inserts. So I did post a video with my last 2023 haul, including these new inserts from the Travelers Company. I decorated the front with some stickers from Redbubble, and I decided I would have one booklet here for temporary notes throughout 2024, and then I also have another insert just like this that I'm using for permanent notes for 2024, and I have never committed to one entire insert for an entire year, but based on what I've needed to print and cut for my printables, I think that these Travelers Company inserts will be sufficient for an entire year. I think that they are 64 pages if memory serves me correctly. So here I am just putting the page numbers down on the bottom left of each page and what type of note is going on the specific page and then I will list those page numbers with the topic on my index page which is just the first page of each insert. So this is just my migration process. Anything here on my temporary list that is still relevant and I'm going to need in my new insert starting off for 2024 is migrated over to the new insert. And I'm really excited about using this permanent type or an actual physical insert rather than a printed version because then I can decorate it with my Redbubble stickers and I feel like that's just a little bit more permanent than just paper that I've cut and printed myself. I hope that makes sense. It's just, just a vibe for me. Seems more permanent for sure. And for the first time this year, I think I am going to archive my Traveler's Notebook inserts Typically in the past, I have not done that, and I find myself switching inserts a lot because I like trying different layouts, and also as my season of life changes, I find myself switching inserts then too. Um, but for 2024, I am thinking that I'm going to use, again, these two inserts for permanent and temporary notes and then I have picked out one weekly insert from Crefective Paper and a yearly insert that I'll be archiving in a cardboard storage notebook from the Travelers Company and again you can find that in my latest last 2023 jet pins haul video so i have a few more temporary lists to migrate over here as i'm doing for 2024 and then we are going to go in to my permanent lists i have been using this system, Traveler's Notebook system, for several years now, and I feel like ring-bound planners are kind of making a return to the planner community with a vengeance, and I am not going to lie, I have been browsing and drooling the personal ring setups that I see on Instagram, but um, I know that rings will not work for me. So I don't see myself moving away from this particular system. And now that I have that archive 
um, method in mind, I'm even more excited about staying in my traveler's notebook system for another year. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos as well. Sam Plans, she's Earthy Plans, I think, on Instagram, and Lindsay Scribbles, Lindsay Scribbles on YouTube and Instagram. And they've just really inspired me in several different ways. Um, with Sam talking about a low buy slash no buy, that um, has also inspired me to set some more goals for myself for spending, especially in my planner um, budget for 2024. In 2023, I set a limit for myself to only purchase less than six standard TN covers. Back in my Coco Daisy days, I used to purchase a notebook a month to go with the kit theme and it had just really gotten out of control. I have quite a large stash and I have the funds to do that, but that kind of misses the purpose. Just as Sam explained in her video, I'll link that below in case you want to watch that. Um, it was just very refreshing and I am happy to report that I did meet that goal and I purchased only, I think, two standard notebook covers in 2023. So I'm going to set probably some type of specific goal like that again for 2024. I'm not going to say I'm doing a no buy or even call it a low buy, but if I'm very specific about looking at what I have in my personal stash and limiting exactly what type of things I want to purchase, I think that's going to be a good route for me for the new year. Now, the other thing that I am considering is some information I got from the Lindsay Scribbles YouTube videos. It really stuck with me when she said that when she started her planning journey, it was more about productivity and functionality, and it developed into hobby and a creative outlet and that's exactly where I am at. So my standard notebook system that you see here really still continues to serve as my functional um, productivity, goal setting, all of those types of things and I have loved this system and it works for me for so long that Obviously, I'm going to continue doing that, but it's also developed into that um, planner hobby for me and a creative outlet. So what you haven't seen a whole lot of yet on this channel is the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Cousin that I have, and I'm going to do some more videos for that, but I was always hesitant to add anything like that to my current system because I didn't want to duplicate information. I didn't want like the Hobonichi Weeks to be my quote planning slash functional productivity planner because I already have all of those needs met in my current system. But what I have found is that I have repurposed or thought differently about what the purpose of the cousin and the weeks are for me and it's definitely that creative outlet so i am very excited to start sharing some of those planner spreads in that process with you i can honestly say since starting my hobonichi weeks which i'm using as sort of a journal i have been journaling every single day and that is something that has not happened in the past for me. I've started it and then, you know, it just wasn't consistent. But here I am just checking some last things over for my 2024 migration. There are a few things here 
that I'm going to be listing, as you see, for the first week of January in 2024. And this is the weekly insert from Corvective Paper that I've committed to using, hopefully at least from January through June. That way I can archive just the two inserts at the end of 2024. I think that with my other custom insert from Corvective Paper that's more of tracking and weekly overview and time blocking, that this week on one page is going to be sufficient. I also wanted to just finish dating my daily insert here for the rest of 2023. I had started with some day of the week stickers from Planner Kate, and now I'm finishing up with the actual date dots. Um, I've also really liked the Planner Kate journaling circles that you see there on the left page, but I messed up my use of stickers and ran out of Christmas kits, which is fine because I don't use a whole lot of stickers in my traveler's notebook system anyway. And I think that using these day of the week stickers and the date dots is totally fine. And I really do enjoy the simplicity of this look as well. Plus, it allows me to use up some of my stickers, right? That's also been a theme for me. I still love my Planner Kate stickers, but I also want to make sure that I'm using all of them up as much as I can. I don't want to hoard them, and I want to use my favorite things because it makes me happy when I look back on these pages. So in addition to that 2023 to 2024 migration, I'm sneaking in a little daily planning in this video as well. I hope you enjoy that. Um, it's one of the easiest contents for me to share with everyone because obviously it's daily planning and I'm literally in my daily pages every single day. So I do have just a few things that I needed to get down on my daily pages for the rest of 2023 and I had taken out my weekly insert for 2023 and replaced it with that 2024 weekly so I didn't have that weekly insert that I would usually just like soft schedule things in for the week so um, I'm utilizing my daily pages a little bit differently for the rest of 2023, which is just a few days, um, so that's totally fine. It's not going to be an issue that I can foresee. Plus, honestly, with Christmas break being here, and um, I am in the education field, I'm a special ed director for a district, I don't have too many things scheduled that I would need to put on my weekly insert anyway. I do have like one Zoom call that I want to schedule, um, but other than that, I'm not going to have a lot of meetings to schedule, and my son is also on his Taekwondo break, so that's really opening up our evenings. I do just have a few things that I want to get down, and again, the daily insert will suffice for the rest of 2023. I am, I am dying to move into that 2024 weekly insert from Corrective Paper, though. Gets that itch just to see it in my planner and want to open it and start planning. So for 2024, I have the same daily insert printed. It's from Corrective Paper, and it's really two days on one page. What I haven't thought about for archiving 2024 are my daily pages. Um, just because these are print and cut at home and not a physical product, I don't really like to print more than two months per booklet just because of how difficult it is to cut bulky inserts, you know, at home without like an industrial cutting machine of some sort. So at a minimum, I would have six daily booklets and I'm just not sure if I want to 
or need to archive my daily pages. I think if I archive that weekly and my yearly that it will really have any information that's important that I need to look back on and if I don't archive my daily pages really the extra information on these pages that wouldn't be already on my weekly insert are kind of those mundane lists like cleaning that sort of thing so I don't know that in 2025 I'll ever need to look back at my daily inserts and know you know I cleaned the kitchen on Monday the 25th will I really need to do that probably not but I'm still toying around with the idea of archiving my daily inserts. Um, if you use a traveler's notebook and you archive your inserts at the end of the year, I would love to hear if you archive all of your inserts or just certain inserts or what that process looks like for you. So I think that wraps up the daily planning portion of this video. I'm just going to look back here at a few things, clip my pages off where they need to go. I do use an Ollie clip to mark my daily page so I can flip to that section easily. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you back for my next video. I appreciate you all and have a good day.